So in my next video, I did say with the Spark that I was gonna show you the quick shots and tap and fly. But unfortunately, um, after going into the DJI Go 4 app, on my, I, got, I use a iPhone mini 12. Uh, I noticed on the screen, there was no flight intelligent mode, which is on the left hand side. I put up a, an image now where it should be. It should be just below the uh, return to home button, but it's not there. So what I thought I'd do first, just to make sure I got home, took off the app, reloaded the app, still the same, still no flight intelligent mode. I then, I got an Android phone, which is a Samsung phone. I did the same thing, the same thing. So for some reason, DJI and the DJI Go 4 app have removed the flight intelligent mode, which is the quick shots, the tap fly, which really, end of the day, is the main part of the drone, really. Other than the drone, you can fly the drone uh, f quite freely. Obviously, you can use the sports mode uh, and you can take photos and video. That's about it. So I suppose if you was thinking about buying or you saw something on eBay or Amazon of the Spark and maybe it was going for a hundred bucks or hundred quid, guys, I would think about it. Um, now what I am going to show you in the next video will be on the Litchi app. Now obviously on the Litchi app, uh, you won't be able to use the flight intelligent modes that you had on the DJI Go app. You'll be able to use, obviously, uh, follow, tracking, waypoints, those sort of things. So what, we're gonna, what I'm going to try and do is see if I can do some of those on the Litchi app, um, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, I, I, was, I thought this could be a, a long series of videos on the Spark, because I, I used to love the Spark, it was an amazing drone, but unfortunately, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's been removed. Now, all I can think of, obviously, we're talking 2017, uh, I expect the last update was probably 2018, and, and I, I imagine, because obviously, those sort of things can go wrong, they don't bother updating them after so many years, uh, and obviously, they, they've been removed. So, if you wanna, fly the spark to do the follow me mode, the follow me mode and things like that, then you're gonna to have to use the Litchi app. Now, the only problem with the Litchi app, obviously you have to pay for it, um, but I know sometimes you do good offers. I, I'm, anyway, what I'm gonna do in the next video, we'll be doing the, uh, the follow and the tracking mode with the Litchi to see how good it is. I'll be honest, guys, the, Tracking mode on the Litchi is not very good. Um, I did do a quick test before coming in and had a chat about this. Uh, and it, it, you just walk out the box. But we we'll give it a go. Um, and I think uh, if it does work, I might even try the car, but I can't see that ever happening myself. So if anybody out there has got any other, um, any ideas why they removed the tracking mode, maybe, if you've got an old, I mean, okay, most of my phones are pretty new. Maybe an, an old iPad or a Google, um, is it Google 7? Nexus 7, I'm sorry, I used to have a Nexus 7, I haven't got it now. It might work on that, I don't know. Or anybody else who's still got the Spark and they still fly on it and they've had no problems, would love to know. But I've got a feeling DJI have removed that part of the app now. So. Just thought I'd put it out there now. Um, yeah. So, as I always say, guys, fly safe. And um, I was really looking forward to the, the spark, but yeah, anyway. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video.